What's up friends? It's Tuesday the 11th um, here about to start rehearsing for the Christmas program. So just finished up the tracks. Um, so I set them up a little bit differently as I alluded to previously. So I basically put every song into click and guide, track, vocals, and then I put drums and then lead vocals in like for rehearsal. But I've got every song just straight down. So if you, um, you know, run your service uh, without having the need to jump back to a section, this may be a great way to run it for you. That way you can just click through each song. And I've got these broken out because I'm sending them to different things. I'm sending this to, you know, channel three, track is going stereo to one and two, vocals is going to channel four, and then this I've got going to channel three, and this is channel four. So if I want drums in, it'll just be in our ears. So anyways, um, yeah, it is 6.48. I think we're gonna start seven or 7.30. So, got the drum kit here, as per usual. And then we are actually running a, like a small little cocktail kit comprised of um, Travis's kick and snare here. So this is, I can't remember the company. Destructive drums, destruction drums, something like that. Um, sounds great, really great sounding kick. And then 16, one of these my 16 inch hats. So we haven't broken down from our banquet, so we still have our banquet seating up. Um, but we're running through lighting cues and everything, so I may give you a, a kind of a view of what's going on there. Um, but yeah, we're about ready to go. So I'm gonna kind of walk through this evening, maybe do a time lapse of the night, and uh, should be fun. Just finished rehearsal. Um, it's 9:26, so just wrapped up. Um, ran through everything. Everything feels good. We'll be back. Call time is 7:30 Sunday. I may come like at seven. Make sure your tracks are good. Run through every once, everything once by myself, and uh, we'll be ready to go. So, should be awesome. See you Sunday. Good morning, my good friends. It is 6:45. I'm a little bit later than I wanted to be, but I'm heading to the church now. Um, got a lot of stuff to do before our band call time, which is um, 7.30. So I wanted like an hour, I wanted to get to like 6.30, but I'm gonna get there a little closer to seven. So it's all right, I'll survive. But um, trying to be a little more chipper right first thing in the morning to you guys. I thought it's been kind of comical, the progression of my awakeness, if that's a word. Um, over my vlogs, it's like the first thing I'm like, good morning guys. So yeah, I'm, I'm tired, but you guys aren't watching, so I'm trying to be a little more um, engaging from the start. But yeah, I've got a lot of um, kind of like housekeeping stuff to do um, that I really forgot I should have already done. So um, for a portion of the Christmas concert, I'm playing a stand-up kit out on stage, which is awesome, um, but a couple of things we're bringing it on and off really quick. So, and they do, we just had a mic stand, so I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna clip the snare mic to the snare with a claw, and then we have like an under uh, crash mic that I'm also gonna clip on. Um, and then I got some K-brakes. So, K-brakes, if you've never heard of them, 
They're basically like um, extensions slash attachments for your kick drum that are like these little rubber pads, like really big pads. So for um, this portion, you know, the kick is just gonna be on stage um, and I'm standing, so I'm, I'm putting a lot of pressure on it forward. Um, so these K-brakes uh, attach um, to the uh, current like kick legs and really, really stabilize it. So pretty cool if you have a, if you have a problem with your um, kick moving around on you, K-brakes. Yeah, um, I'll um, show you more about them here in a minute. Um, but I, I got a link to them down below if you want to check them out. Um, just Amazon, they're like 40 bucks, 30 bucks. But if your kick walks away on you, um, it's a really good option. So yeah, I'm just gonna get in there, get that stuff set up really quick, hopefully, and then still have time to run everything once or twice. Um, we beefed up one of the arrangements, so we're ending the um, we're ending the service with Let It Snow. We're in Houston, Texas, so we brought in fake snow because it's never gonna happen. So we got snow machines. Um, you'll see that it'll be cool. Um, but it felt just a little weak, so it's kind of a jazzy arrangement. So um, I was talking to Keith and Drew, and they were like, "Man, this, this arrangement is not it's not punching. It's not a show ender." So uh, Keith went in and added some horns. Um, I think Ben's gonna kind of beef it up on guitar, and then I'm really gonna take it from like a super laid back swing um, to kind of. Uh, Sorry, my window's all fogged up. Kind of um, intensify the arrangement a little bit. Um, so, yeah, should be good. Enough talking. I will uh, check back in with you when I get there. So here at the church now in the Anthem Student Center, one thing we're doing this year that I'm super excited about is hosting a huge Christmas party for all the foster kids in our area. So um, tons of families in the church um, took a kid to sponsor. And so they're coming in today for like a big breakfast and then to have just a ginormous present opening party. So everyone um, got a, a kid and we all purchased gifts for them. So. Anyways, that's going to be super exciting. I hate that I'm actually going to miss the, the real party because I'm going to be uh, in rehearsal. But they'll have a great time. So I don't think these K-brakes are going to work. So the idea is it's got this rubber pad, which is pretty hard, and then it just slides onto the spur. But this one is too big for the unthreaded area and too small for the threaded area. So I took a guess. I really didn't think about it said I think 10 millimeter spurs but I guessed wrong we're gonna use the rubber foot and hope for the best attach that uh, mic with a little claw clip to there so should be good and then on the other snare I just stole the uh, claw from my side snare so I can live with this guy for one service yeah, we're gonna get set up and then get rolling. Just did our band run through. Now we're about to run from the top with everybody. It's gonna be cool. Checking in, it is 9.05, uh, 9.09. Uh, they're working on staging right now, kind of the transitions of getting stuff on and off, like monitors, stuff like that. So we have a couple of big transitions. Um, when I transition up with the little kit, and then when the choir comes out, so choir risers, monitors, mics, cables, all that stuff's gotta happen. So we're just fine tuning that. Lewis is playing. So, yep, it's going good. Just making sure those uh, details are super locked in. And uh, we're almost done. And then we'll have our pre service meeting. And we're good to go. All right. Um, we're getting close. Everyone's kind of still in the foyer. Um, but we're getting close to countdown. So, I think all systems are go. I think I'm good. We'll see kind of always nerve-wracking when you're the one running everything but uh, should be good should be good so we'll see 
about to go live. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you have any questions, comments, let me know below. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, uh, feel free to do so. I encourage you to do that. Share this video, and we'll see you guys in the next one.